Yeah, pretty fantastic. Um, obviously, it was only our second year to be in the Premier Division, so uh, we've had a pretty whirlwind journey, but it was definitely a whole team effort. Um, we played Reading on the Saturday, which was a really, really tough game. I think a lot of people didn't really expect us to come out on top in the end and to be so dominant, but we played so well as a, as a whole team and squad. And there were lots of other girls who played in the whole season with us that weren't able to play on the weekend because we have such a strong squad. So it was really a whole group effort. So it was great to lift the trophy. Yeah, obviously I have great pride playing for Surbiton and especially uh, for me coming through the whole cult system at Surbiton. So I, I joined when I was 10, I think. So to be able to, to come through the whole journey, go to university, come back and to be captain of the, the best team in England was, was great. So I was very proud, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we had Charlotte Calman, who's just 16 years old, who's playing in our team on the weekend. And she, just in this year, playing with us, has improved so much and shows that she's got great talent and will definitely be one to watch in the future. Um, so, yeah, we have... That's, I think, one of the best things about Surbiton is the, the talent coming through. And we have so many youngsters who train with the first team or train in the ladies' teams that, in a few years' time, will be breaking into those squads and, and really bolster up the, the team and just give a whole round depth of the whole squad so really good. Uh, well I'm a big Liverpool football fan <laughs> so it added a uh, benefit bonus for me on the weekend having Liverpool beaten Man City so that was a, a good weekend all round but uh, I also enjoy skiing my brother's a ski instructor so while unfortunately it's a dangerous sport so I don't get to do it very much anymore now especially playing in the senior team so um, but maybe later on when I finish hockey can, can carry on doing that. Uh, rug, I like all sports really, rugby, cricket, loved watching the Ashes uh, and yeah looking forward to the Rugby World Cup as well watching that next year so just great all, all sports really. Well I was very lucky to first started playing hockey at Surbiton at one of Brett Garrard's hockey camps and he's now my coach and at the time he was the GB men's captain and at the coaching camp Kate Walsh was there so at the time and now obviously current GB women's captain uh, and there was Ben Hawes, Carl Stagno, other internationals who so straight from my first outing playing hockey I had such great coaches and again like you say such inspiration so they definitely inspired me to want to be a hockey player and and continue where they through to where I am now so yeah definitely inspiration was key yeah. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant having just listening to all those supporters on the sideline or the little kids coming up to you wanting photographs and autographs it's, it is honestly such a great feeling to see all those kids wanting to play hockey and to have those people behind you supporting you it's honestly one of the best feelings so if as many people can get into hockey as, as they can then it's so great and, uh, and especially when we have more events in England because of the Olympics that legacy definitely is coming through and when we had the the Investec uh, Challenge and the Investec Cup uh, and the World League 3 as well in Chiswick. They, just so many people came down to, down to support and it really does lift the team. So, you know, as much support we can get, it's very appreciated. So we've got the, uh, the World Cup coming up and the London Cup after that and obviously the Commonwealth Games. So uh, personally, I'm just trying to get selected for those tournaments and work as hard as I can. But as a team, you know, we're, we're, we're aiming to medal, aiming to go to win those tournaments. Uh, so it's a whole team effort working together to try and get that unity, which we already have, but to continue it and build on it further and to just be as prepared as we, are, as we can be for each of those tournaments and to go out there and know that we couldn't have done anything more and that we left everything on the pitch and hopefully that will give us the results that we deserve.